Okay, we're going to take a look at how data can be submitted. And to save time, I've already gone in and entered the code. Our window looks like this. Notice I've got two buttons at the bottom. Send and Reset. And the way we're submitting our data is using an email form. So let's go to Text Wrangler. And I'm going to increase the size a little bit. Well, my Apple Magic isn't working. So let's change our text display, show fonts, and go just a tad bit. I really want you to be able to read this well. Okay. Now, what I've done is I've gone in to my form, and before, all there was here was the form element. But I've gone and I've added three attributes to form. The first one is action. And I've said that the action equals, and then in quotes, mail to colon mark.winnegar at mac.com my email address. Then I've added the method attribute. And what I want to do is I want to post this email message to my email software so it gets sent. So method equals post. The next thing I need to do is to tell it how to encode the data. ENC type is the attribute that describes this and I just want plain old text and so ENC type equals quote text slash plain. Okay that's the first change that I made. The next change comes all the way down at the bottom of our form right here. And what I did is I wanted to create a little space between my data and my buttons, so I put in a couple of breaks. And then I created two buttons. Let's take a look at the first one. I specified that I had some input that I'm expecting from my viewer. The type of the input is submit. Submit, which submit is a specific button in action. When the button is clicked, the data is submitted, depending upon the attributes of our form. The next attribute is value equals send. Now, that simply means that the text of my button is the letters capital S-E-N-D, or the word send. The next button is defined, again, with an input. I'm expecting a user or viewer to give me some input. The type is reset. Again, reset is a button with a particular action. The action is to clear out all of the data. The value is simply what text do I want in the button and I've said, whoops, I've said to display the word reset. Okay, so let's take a look at how this behaves. Let's type in 
Billy Thornton Login name BT2011 Password Billy is a student and Billy could drive a car he could ride his mo his bicycle or ride his motorcycle okay now I have a choice I can send or I can reset if I click reset all of the data is gone I cleared it all out of memory so let's go ahead and let's put in my name Mark Winnegar login name M Winnegar password teacher and let's say I'm gonna ride my motorcycle sometimes when I want some exercise I'll take my bike and when the weather's bad I will go ahead and drive my car now I'll click send and what happens is it loads up my default email software now let me blow up that text so you can read it the message that it's going to send will consist of first name equals the value mark, last name equals Winnegar, user ID equals M Winnegar, password equals hello, that's what I kept typing in for my password, role equals teacher, transport has three different values, see it is there as transport equals car, transport equals bike, and transport equals motorcycle. Now, a viewer can click on the send button and that email will go from me at me.com to Mark Winnegar at mac.com. So, that's our screencast. I hope you have a good day.